Coming up on Look Today, will local leaders speak on the developments in the arts community? I've got details. And New York State awards $10.5 million in grants for health institutions. More on that coming up. And we've got updates on the Veterans Alternative Tax Exemption Initiative in Balsam Spa. I've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone and happy Friday. I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Todd Garifano. He's the president of Saratoga Convention and Tourism Bureau. He's here to talk about Chowderfest 2017, which is happening this weekend in Saratoga. I also sit down with Cheryl H. Perez. Now she's the executive director of VCHC and we're joined by Leah Rosenberger. She's the associate executive director and they're here to talk about the name change from Saratoga County Rural Preservation Company to Veterans and Community Housing Coalition. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, 2017 looks very promising in the, for the arts in our community. Elizabeth Sobel, the new president and CEO of SPAC, has a definite vision for the arts and how it should and will influence our community. Well, this season, will bring some new, exciting additions to the Performing Arts Center. And we spoke to Elizabeth Sobel about collaboration within a community. Having moved to Saratoga only four months ago, the thing that just has me fired up all the time is how vibrant this cultural community is. Um, so whether it's what Sarah Craig is doing over at Cafe Lena, what Elena Richardson is doing at Yaddo, what Teddy Foster is doing at UPH, everything that's going on over at Skidmore. I mean, for me, it's all about collaboration and how we can talk about uh, working together, not only to enrich and to deepen what's going on culturally here, but also to reach out beyond Saratoga, beyond the capital region. Well, well said. Also, Mayor Joanne Yepsen outlined in her State of the City address some key initiatives to help the arts community in Saratoga Springs. So we spoke to her about some of these initiatives. I mean, SPAC has an, a new leadership and, an, and a new view uh, on what the arts should include. My Arts Commission has a very broad definition of what the arts is. So we feel that we have a lot in common and we want to work toward uh, perhaps a music festival or a symposium for future musicians. Um, I think there's a lot we could do with other cities around the country that promote the arts and have some sort of exchange program and learning opportunity for our budding artists to go to their cities and vice versa. All right, in other news. Well, recently the state of New York awarded ten and a half million dollars to help health, health institutions. Now, there are six recipients in our communities. The Prevention Council in Saratoga County will be one of them. The money will go toward helping the council build a new recovery center. We spoke to Janine Stuchin. She's the executive director of the council. We've been very fortunate here at the council where the recipient of funding to open a community outreach and recovery community center that will be opening in the spring of 2017. Switching from news to weather, well today saw some more overcast, they got cold winds coming in and possibly some snow later on in the weekend. So let's see how the weekend is shaping up for a more detailed look at our weather. Let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first weekend forecast. Thank you, Jesse. Hope you've all enjoyed your week so far. Cold air still piling on in as we go through the overnight hours. That's all because high pressure still in control across the heartland of the U.S., giving us those winds in the clockwise rotation around that high. That means they're just making that cold air taking a straight beeline out of Canada heading right our way. We'll see very limited moisture as you can see much of the moisture pushing back off the coast of the Carolinas right now and well off our coast with still some flurries will likely fly temperatures really 
bottoming out in the teens and even single digits. Burlington, Vermont could fall as cold as two below the zero degree mark. A few snow showers with us tonight, and the wind chill will be our biggest factor. 13 degrees for the overnight low and winds out of the west to eventually southwest over the next couple of days. Still blowing in between 5 to 15 miles an hour. That would mean those single digit wind chills by daybreak. Mostly cloudy will likely still squeeze out a few snow showers here and there. High 29 degrees. And then here's the out the door. Stay inside if you can because it's going to be extremely cold with that wind blowing. We're going to see those wind chills as cold as 5 to 6 degrees. A little bit of cloud cover. Still a chance at a few snow showers. And then over the weekend we'll continue to keep temperatures trying their best to squeeze above freezing and getting there on Sunday. Sunday's high 34 degrees but morning low once again bottoming out in the 10 to 11 degree range and temperatures will stay chilly on through Monday. 29 degrees the high Monday, Tuesday 30. But as we head back towards the midweek, we're going to likely see another batch of a little bit more mild air moving back in with 40 degrees the high Wednesday, another chance of showers. So that's it right now. Very cold forecast to take us right on through the weekend. And that's it for me in the Weather Center. Now back to you, Jesse. Thanks, Brad. I don't know about you, but when some reason when it goes into the teens, you feel it. So it's going to be a cold weekend. Back to the news. Well, we've got some updates on the Veterans Alternative Tax Exemption Initiative in Bolson Spa. Tom Riley, a U.S. Navy veteran, attended the meeting at the Bolson Spa uh, School Library to uh, speak on the importance of passing the exemption. Now, four years ago, give you some background, Governor Cuomo passed a piece of legislation stating that individual school districts could choose to enact the Veterans Alternative Tax Exemption. And we spoke to Tom Riley about the meeting. Well, the veterans are, uh, if you would, mission-oriented. So we came with a solution to help move along the process. We have canvassed in previous months the community, just a cross-section, randomly selected. Um, and we had, a, we had a petition with us that we presented to the board with 214 signatures. Wow. We'll keep you posted on this story. Up next, I sit down with Todd Garifano. He's president of the Saratoga Convention Tourism Bureau. He's here to talk about Chowderfest. That's happening this weekend in Saratoga. Plus, I also sit down with Cheryl Hage Perez. She's the executive director of VCHC. And we're joined by Leah Rosenberger. She's the associate executive director. They're here. They talk about the name change from Saratoga County Rural Preservation Company to Veterans and Community Housing Coalition. All right, but first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. It's Friday, so I want to thank the crew. And, of course, that's Andrew and Drew and Jack and Joel, Norm, Antoinette, and Dana. Welcome, Dana. She's new. Uh, the, uh, I, I have some other things to talk about, and I can't remember what they are right now. So what I'm going to do is just tell you that nobody here knows anything about football. But I do know, and we all know, that it's the Super Bowl this weekend. So have fun, but be safe. And somebody's got to tell me what teams are playing, OK? And then uh, last but not least, uh, to all you viewers, we're getting a lot of comments about our interviews and our comments. And please keep them coming. Uh, we really enjoy hearing from you pros and cons uh, about what we're doing in terms of supplying you with more information about what's going on in our communities. Okay, that's it. Tonight on Look TV, it's Beyond the Headlines and, uh, and Tracks, our music show. And don't forget, Tune in Monday night for the stories that matter to you. Have a safe weekend, everybody. Good night.